Okay, welcome everyone to this second part. Um, so we looked at this sentence here in Harry Potter, pinching his nose, Harry drank the potion down in two large gulps, and we saw how using an ing phrase at the beginning of a sentence can extend the detail in the sentence. Okay, now we then I got you to write um, some of your own and you pasted them into that Google document, which was fantastic. And I'll be looking at those now. Um, what I want you to do now is to extend your knowledge of how this kind of sentence structure can be used. So there are three main ways you could use this. Okay, so we've got the first one up there, which you've already seen. And we call that uh, an opener. Okay, so you could use that ing opening, you know, uh, phrase at the beginning of a sentence, and we call it an opener. Um, you see the second example, another one from Harry Potter. There, Lockhart wearing lurid pink robes to match the decorations was waving for silence. We call that an interrupter because it's happening in the middle of the sentence. It's uh, actually breaking the subject and the verb. So you see that if we got rid of that underlined part there, we could just have Lockhart was waving for silence. Okay, But we put in that ing phrase, wearing lurid pink robes to match the decorations. Uh, it interrupts the, the subject and the verb, and we have that ing participle phrase there and it really builds that visual image. And the third one you can see is obviously going to be called a closer because it happens towards the end of the sentence. So we'd have the bus motor idles. You could put a full stop there and not have anything else, but instead you put a comma and then there's the ing phrase uh, towards the end. So just recapping that, see we have these three three different beginnings, um, not beginnings, three different structures. You can use the ing as an opener to extend the detail. We can use it to kind of interrupt immediately after the subject um, with, a, with an ing phrase, which again extends the detail. Or you can use it as a closer towards the end of the sentence. The two easiest, I'd say, are the opener and the closer. They're probably the ones that I would um, experiment most with if I was you. Now, there is an activity that I'm going to get you to do, and I've posted the, um, the document in our Google Classroom, and we'll have a look at it in a second, but I just want to explain a little bit about it. Um, you will have four images, okay? There's an image of a skydiver, a lion, a hiker, and um, a crowd at a football game or some kind of sporting event. So what I want you to do in that document is to write a few sentences, right? using those pictures as a stimulus. But within each um, uh, picture, with each uh, the, the sentences that you write, I would like there to be one example of that participle, okay, of that ing type phrase. And I would like you to use either it as an opener, or an interrupter, or a closer. So your success criteria, you'll have um, that in your document, is simply just to say, yes, I've used it, and tell me the one that you've used. I've used an opener and, you know, the example. We will have a look at that document now. So you can see here, I've posted it to you. Uh, complete the task, include a range of different sentence structures, etc. So you can read those instructions. But let's have a look at what it actually looks like. Okay, so there's the skydiver. I want you to do your few sentences on that, describing it or being inspired by that. And here's your rubric. You simply say, oh, I used an opener here, and then you would give me what it is, okay? Um, from your, you know, from your writing, okay? And if you've used it, give yourself 10 points, and I'll come through and verify that in the grading of, this, of the task. Then I want you to go through and complete the exercise for the lion, same thing, try and use a different one. The hiker, there's the picture, and uh, the crowd. So all those are in the document there for you. So that would be fantastic. Um, and here they are as well. So the hiker, the lion, I mean the skydiver, the lion, the hiker, and the crowd. So um, good luck everyone. 
uh, do that task, complete it for me, and once you've uh, finished, we can move on to the next task. See you next time.